All right, so hey everybody and welcome to Mario Kart Tour, a Nintendo mobile game that seems to be worth it. Uh, so far, most of the mobile games haven't been too crazy, but this one is a, an, a Mario Kart game on the mobile devices. I'm playing actually on my iPad, so uh, not necessarily a mobile device, but still, I'm really excited for this game and for the future of it as most mobile games get updates. And this game is known to have different tours uh, for each couple weeks, I believe every two weeks. And here we have the New York tour in the Mario Kart Cup. Now, I only played the first cup just to kind of complete the, you know, tutorial essentially. It's been really fun that I want to make a series out of this, especially since it's going to be updated constantly. So let's not waste too much time and just jump into the first cup. And I was fortunate enough to actually unlock Princess Toadstool Peach. Uh, Early on, as many of you guys may know, she's my favorite Mario Kart character, a general Mario character to play as, so I'm excited to have her. I don't really care about any other character, but the way you unlock them are like gacha games where you have to uh, spend money and kind of, you know, gamble for them. But luckily, you can unlock points within in game points. I feel like all mobile games with Nintendo have a fair way of unlocking things without having to pay, so that's pretty nice. But okay, let's get straight into this. The controls require a touch screen, but I've gotten used to them somewhat. I mean, I barely play this, but I feel like I'll do well. Uh, so far, when I've played this, I've gotten like first, I believe, in every single level, but it depends, because as you can see, the game is online. We're not playing with random people, and you can add people, which uh, once I can, I'll be sure to let you guys add me, because I love the fact that this is online. Everyone's connected, and I'm moving way too quick. Oh, jeez. Okay, I can barely control myself. <laughs> It's so nice to actually play Mario Kart like this, and I'm excited to be playing it on my actual phone. But I decided to play on the iPad because it makes more sense when wanting to record. Uh, the way I have this set up is really weird. Like, I have this projecting from my iPad on my Apple TV, and then uh, I'm recording with Fraps because <laughs> my capture card won't let me record it directly as there's, like, copyright issues. So I'm not really trying to record, like, a movie or anything that you'd play normally on Apple TV. I'm just trying to record a game, but uh, what also came out recently was Apple Arcade, and that has, um, what's it called, uh, Oceanhorn 2, and I'm really excited to be playing that. I may make videos on that, but okay, this could be a nice shortcut. Oh, I just realized the, um, the truck was pretty nice, but I totally forgot that there are only two laps per course, and I only got third place. I'll take it. Maybe I've done well enough to get a good amount of stars. It doesn't matter. I've beaten this before. Uh, and I don't really care what I get because these are against actual humans, not computers. So I feel like the score doesn't matter too much. I'm just here to tour the Mario Kart Tour world. Yeah, um, I don't know where I was going with that. But okay, not bad. So that was the New York Minute Tour. Uh, I, I didn't really get much of a New York vibe. But hey, I like the setting to say the least. It just reminds me of like the uh, Toadstool's Turnpike or whatever it was called in the other Mario Kart game. Uh, but regardless, let's just jump into level by level. Luckily, each cup won't really take that long, so we can play multiple cups per episode. I don't know how long I'm gonna have each one or how many I'm gonna do, but I want to do a good amount per episode, especially if you guys are interested in this. So if you are, be sure to leave a like, then I'll know to continuously play this game, especially when there are updates. And I kind of put day a bit light, but whatever. Okay, I really love the way this course looks. Honestly, I think I'm gonna be a bigger fan of the more original Mario Kart courses rather than the poor stuff. Uh, you know, the stuff they're adding based off of real world locations. I don't think that is really something that exciting. I'm just happy that they had an excuse to make a Mario Kart game on mobile. Now, we just need a Zelda game. It's any kind of Zelda game. I don't care what it is. I feel like they should take the concept of Triforce Heroes with how that was uh, all online and kind of make that into a mobile game. But we'll see. So far, we've gotten two Mario games. Actually, three Dr. Mario as well, because we got Mario Run, which was the first one. Uh, but honestly, my favorite Nintendo mobile game has to be Dragalia Lost. I've played hundreds of hours of that, and I'm constantly playing it. Actually, the anniversary is, I believe, tomorrow, which is the day after Mario Kart Tour came out. So they'll be sharing a similar anniversary. And maybe they'll do something similar to what they did with Fire Emblem Heroes and kind of do a crossover, uh, like in celebration of this game coming out and their anniversary. I doubt it. I would love that. Imagine having Mario and Dragalia. That'd be 
kind of hilarious, actually, because that game is more of a Zelda-like game. Or even Zelda characters would be a nice mix. But okay, ah, I missed this. Come on, let's not get third again. I could pass this guy. Uh, I'm, uh, come on. I was hoping I'd get a drift. Okay, wait, this is my chance. Oh, you got me. No, you don't. Wait, the drift, the drift, and... Ah, uh, so close. I, I passed him after the finish line. But you know what? It was meant to be. It was Toad. He, you know, he's always one step ahead of Peach or under Peach's dress or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm referencing Smash Bros. That is. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, we got to level up. I, I don't know what it does. I don't really care. I guess maybe it will give us uh, more points on our vehicles. I'm just happy that I have Peach, but I would like better vehicles. So I'm going to look into that as time goes on. But let's continue and jump straight in to this next level. This is based off of a classic from the NES stages. Yeah, it literally says the SNES, rather. There was no NES Mario Kart title. It was only SNES, which was known as Super Mario Kart. You would have thought that the first Mario Kart would have been titled just Mario Kart. But no, the very first Mario Kart in the franchise was Super Mario Kart. I'd say my favorite and the one I'm most nostalgic with is Mario Kart 64. Even though I feel like, um, obviously, Mario Kart 8 has to be the best because it's the newest. Oh, whoa. Okay, I totally forgot the way the touchscreen works. Um, but still, I get so nostalgic with that one because that's the one I played so much of, especially with my siblings. Wait, wait, come on. Let's become Giant Peach. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you know. I, uh, anyone named James is free to enter my... Okay, I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. I was going to try to like a James and a Giant Peach reference. That came out really dirty and wrong. Um, uh, let's just... <laughs> that, is that... Wait, what? That wasn't even like a blue shell. Okay, X, I'm sorry. You're Bowser. I gotta beat you. I'm Peach. I'm gonna show you what's up. Take that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get first for once. What? No! Where are these coming from? These giant Bowser shells. Okay, come on, I got this, I got this. Toad is gonna swerve out or not, he's gonna hit me with that. He's actually saving that. Maybe I can snipe him? Eh, no, I can't. Okay, whatever, I'll take second place. Better than third, right? Again, it doesn't bother me where I end up because uh, it's not like it's shameful when you lose against computers, you know? I, I would definitely be upset, but again, actual humans, it makes it much more fun, much more exciting, and you know each round will be a lot different than the other instead of just computers constantly getting cheap items and spamming it on you. Uh, I wonder if items are going to be an issue in this game. I hope not. So far, not too bad. I mean, we, we did kind of get screwed up by that giant Bowser shell that was going all over the place, but that's nonetheless. Okay, so this is just a simple tip thing. I might as well just show it. So they just want you to press the screen on two and you just get a boost and that's it. I don't really get the point of this. Just a rocket start. This is in every Mario game, so, or Mario Kart game, so I don't really see why they felt the need to teach it to you. Unless you're maybe new to this, and this might be your first Mario Kart. That'd be kind of crazy if this was your first Mario Kart, the mobile game. But okay, now time for something new, something I haven't played yet, and that is the game. Oh, well, okay, well, I've played this many times on the GameCube version, but let's check it out in Mario Kart Tour. I'm not gonna lie, the graphics are insanely good for this. You can tell it's dumbed down from how it originally looked like it looks kind of cell shaded the way the graphics are i like it though uh a lot i'm not complaining at all i'm just saying it does look a lot different i mean it would have been nice to um to get maybe an update to the original mario kart 8 or something but i don't care I i'm happy we have a mobile game and uh, i'm excited to see what nintendo does in the future with all their ips like uh, a game that felt like that should have been a mobile game. Normally, I don't want games to be mobile games, uh, but no! Okay, crap. A game that felt like it would have fit a lot would have been the new Kirby game that came out. And oh, you could fall probably, so we gotta be extra careful here. Luckily, it's just mainly a turn. Um, yeah, that game uh, plays like a mobile game as it's free and you have to kind of get gems and whatnot, kind of like how this game is. and. You could pay money, you could pay real world money in that Switch Kirby game, and it's for Switch. I don't know why they didn't just kind of make the entire game for mobile. Maybe they were tr testing out mobile marketing uh, on a Switch game to see what would happen. I don't think that's the best way to go for it. It just would have been cooler if that game was straight up for mobile. But I realize you can't actually, uh, what's it called, drive off course at all. And 
I get why maybe because you can't even stop like I'm just turning there's no driving there's no accelerating at all like it's just you just gotta control your direction and let's go let's take the long way this time I'll still use the mushroom but oh that was actually kind of close uh, Mario got her okay okay let's be precise here because I want to do well oh no no I took the long route crap maybe it's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing is it no it is a bad thing uh oh okay um uh this is not good I don't want to get less than at least third you know third is please don't go for it. this hurt me no it doesn't oh why didn't I get my um no why did I drive into the okay whatever stuff happened I'll take it there's no way I'm gonna be able to make it out of this really bad spot, but... Okay, no, no, turn, Peach, why am I doing this? Uh, okay, whatever. We managed to get not last play, and we did get last place. No one else is behind me. Wow. Am I even gonna get stars for this? I was doing so fine until I took the long route, and then everything came crashing down. So what do I get for getting such a bad place? Am I fine? Well, I mean, I got three stars still, three grand stars. Uh, I guess I'll have to play this level again off screen. It gives me an excuse to play through it again, but do I not unlock the next course? Luckily you do. Okay, so it doesn't matter how bad you are, you're still a winner to Mario Kart Tour, and I'm one to, you know, showcase that. So sweet, let's, okay. I'm gonna try not to drift everywhere. I feel like the main reason why I messed up and oh, this is actually the tutorial level. Um, I played that obviously off screen. I don't see a point in showing that, but uh, this is from the 3DS. Yeah, it is actually. It literally says it, which is nice. But yeah, um, I'm gonna try not to drift so much like in and out because see, there you go. Sometimes I'm just holding on to the touch screen and then it just causes me to start turning the wrong way, so. I mean, I am holding it on an iPad, like I'm playing this game on an iPad, so, you know, I gotta hold this properly, because it's heavier than just a phone, but I would like to think it gives me a uh, better recording. And can I drive here? Can I what? What? What's that? What? You? So do I have to have a mushroom to go off course? I'm confused. Whatever. Uh, these players don't seem that good this time, so it will uh, help boost my ego for messing up before. <laughs> yeah, I feel my ego's pretty fragile after that one. Yeah, I, I'm kidding, but alright, let's just go ahead and play it safe. Wait, what does Bowser have frenzy? Or why didn't, was it showing that? No, he's just coming close? Okay. Well, you know what? Use this, thank you! Oh, he's on it too. I thought he kind of nudged me to the right way. Okay, we got this. Don't get my item. Are you past me? I'm gonna screw you over. Oh, you could screw me over. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Come on, I got this. Alright, I'm getting the hang of it. All right, we should be good. Let's get first place for once. And I want to actually look behind me. No, way. oh, I was like turning. Maybe like a flex, you know, showing him that he couldn't win regardless. <laughs> Had to drift at the end. Okay, so there we go. That made up for last place. <laughs> but, okay, I'm excited to see the next course, but I wonder if the last course in this tour will also be a, um, or a cup rather, because I guess this whole two weeks will be all about New York, but I wonder if the last course will be like a little tutorial thing, but okay, Rock Rock Mountain, is this, yeah, it's, it is a 3DS one, okay, uh, and again, I don't have much in terms of uh, carts and even gliders, I'm, I'm going to take the time to look into that, I don't really want to spend money, in, oh, I actually, I absolutely love this course, this was one of the best courses in the 3DS version. So there's so much gliding, it's it's amazing, but let's see how it translates into this game, so. I wish I could honk my horn right here. I really enjoyed doing that like Mario Kart, it was so satisfying. Okay, anyways, yeah, this time I wasn't holding the touch screen after I started the level, that's something I feel like I keep forgetting, and okay, these Bowsers, maybe Bowser's the best again. He's usually really good in Mario Kart because his weight, uh, it makes him like, I wanna say, really easy to play and I mean, actually not really easy to play at least because he's probably hard to drift but if you know how to play he's probably the best too and uh oh okay come on let's not do this bad let's not get seven but oh yeah I love this section so much I don't know if like trying to 
hit the ground as the quickest is the best or just kind of staying oh no you want to be up in the air because you're getting i'm getting so many points okay so in reality this is a good thing and uh oh okay so you can end up off road but that's only you're doing and okay come on yes items come and help me out don't screw me over screw everyone else over uh, and all right perfect i'm getting some distance away from no i'm not okay bowser literally just catch up uber eats yo <laughs> is bowser going to deliver <laughs> why is his name uber eats <laughs> all right i guess bowser's on a mission he needs to deliver his uber okay come on do this don't hit the wall uh, i hate this part so much my drifting is so bad Come on, this is the last course too, so I don't have much time to make up for it. I have to quickly do this right, so okay. Sweet, let's mushroom it. Perfect in the air. At least I'm away from all the obstacles until that happens, which has to hit you. But okay, that's fine, that's fine. Come on. I get kind of nervous towards the end, especially when the music picks up. It's really hype, but I mean, that's what makes this extremely fun okay bowser you deserve this wait okay never mind i'm sorry i guess, I guess not really oh, oh no don't just crush me i'm just gonna keep going straight don't readjust come on come on i got this i got this hit the ground first maybe that's faster whoa i'm like gliding back into the air i didn't want to do that but it worked out nice so we managed to get fourth i don't really care at this point you know we're just touring the choruses because I, it's better as long as I get better than eighth. I think I'm gonna be happy. That's what I was mainly nervous about. But uh, we need—we definitely need to get at least third place to get all the stars. It seems. Um, but okay, let's see what's after this. Is it another tutorial like thing? Yeah, ring race. Uh, all right. I mean, I might as well do it. It's gonna give me some additional benefits or something. I don't really know. Clear five rings. Okay. Let's do it, DK. I, I don't understand why you have to play with the specific. Um, a specific character. I don't know the reason behind it. Is it the handling that changes and maybe makes it more difficult? I don't know, but okay. Let's try to get them all. Ooh, you can see they're shrinking. And I can't backtrack, so in reality, I am not doing this properly. Crap. Well, at least if I get 12, it looks like... Oh, no, I got more. You should at least have to get five? Is five the least? And uh, no matter what, I pass this. Okay, let's just get them all here. You know, I'll take it. First clear is, is fine for me. We're probably not going to get the third star for this one. But, uh, 20, no, wow. You don't have to get a perfect. I, I got what would give you what you need. So cool, I'll take it. Obviously, this is the one thing I get all stars for. Okay, so we finished another cup. We can replay the races. I'll definitely do that off screen or maybe online with you guys if there's some way to do so. But let's first clear the Yoshi Cup. Hopefully this will allow me to uh, unlock more features within the game. And does it recommend Yoshi for, for the course? I wonder. I'm also gonna try to unlock some things at the end of this so I can see what I unlock. Someone already has Pal Palatina, which is, it's not Palatina, Pauline. Well, I don't know why, you know, I referenced the wrong Nintendo character from a completely different franchise. You know, it would be cool to have Kid Icarus characters in this. Actually, it'd be cool to have anyone. I hope Link gets in this. They should just make a Nintendo Kart. Screw Mario. Like, Mario Kart 8 was a great demonstration on how they could just add other characters from other franchises and it would fit. Like, Link from The Legend of Zelda work. And it even inspired... Wow! You can't take the shortcut. Okay. But it even inspired, like, you know, the... Uh, Master Cycle Zero from Breath of the Wild. I feel like that had to be inspiration of it because Link was already riding a bike which was known as the Master Cycle. So maybe eventually Link will be a playable character in this, like as one of the tours of the season. Let's do like a Hy Hyrule tour or something. That would be so sick and get like a level from Breath of the Wild. I mean, that's a possibility now. Anything could happen in this game. Don't, oh, well, okay, that's scary. But okay, we're, we're doing we're doing well. I don't want to jinx it, but we're first. We're ahead of the pack. I want to stay that way. I'm gonna keep this just in case something. You know what? Let's use it. No, I wasn't close enough. Uh, stinking toad. <laughs> All right, it's fine. 
I feel like this ending looks different than I remember. This wasn't this uh, track like shaped as Yoshi. Is there? Oh, it, I could see the map on the side of the screen. I'm stupid. It is. Um, yeah, I remember this from the GameCube version. Double Dash was such an amazing game. I love, like I said, I love all the Mario Karts. I guess you could say except Super Mario Kart. I hate to hate again. Uh, you know on the old games. I think it's just because it wasn't my time. Like I said, I grew up playing the N64 and those titles, so that's why those hold a special place in my heart. But, okay. Let's avoid all of these guys. Oh, man. Whoa. Oh, you actually kind of are given a area where you can drive over. And I just realized this is the final lap, so I just gotta stay strong. Okay, let's just not do that i'm doing such a wide and horrible turn okay doesn't matter i got a green shell i can easily counteract anyone that try if i actually hit it and i just used it Oops. okay it's fine no toad toad uh, whoa holy crap you could hear him screaming wow that was <laughs> you could hear him coming yes! but luckily he couldn't pass me sucks to suck toad sucks to suck okay so it's nice we got some rubies Definitely gonna put that to use. But let's just uh, take on the next couple levels within this. Uh, and we should get five star. Hell yeah, I deserve that one. Okay, I like how they're based off of the grand stars from Super Mario Odyssey. Maybe, I don't even think Rosalina is yet a playable character, but uh, eventually we can actually check. So not yet. Yeah, they're definitely gonna add more Mario Kart characters. And I can only imagine them adding um, Link. You know, like, it, it, it could be a possibility. Like, I don't see why they wouldn't. And imagine just other Nintendo characters from... I can't really think of... Like, I know they had an Animal Crossing. Kind of forgetting. They had, like, Shy Guy, which was pretty interesting. But that was since the 3DS version. And speaking of Shy Guy, he's actually here on the stage. And he's all over... Never mind, he's everywhere. <laughs> okay. So Daisy has a, uh, a chorus of her own. And, ooh, this music's nice. I feel like all of these are 3DS levels. Like, I can't help but get a 3DS. The 3DS game was so good. I say Mario Kart 7 was the first online Mario Kart. No, no, Wii was. What am I saying? Wii was the first online. But, like, that's the one I got into heavily with online. I played so much with my friends. Uh, Mario Kart 8, I kind of gave up on. I felt like that would have been the best follow-up to it. But I don't know what happened. Mario Kart just got kind of tedious with the items. And I hope that's not the case with this one. But, oh man. Yeah, again, I would love to see just Nintendo kind of stray away from Mario Kart and just make a Nintendo car, just like Smash Bros. Or even a Nintendo Party. Just, we have so many good IPs, and truly, Smash Bros. shows that they can all clash into the same game. It doesn't have to just be Smash Bros. But Smash Bros. will be for, like, not only just because it's fighting, but, you know, for also third party games, you know? But this, they should just make Nintendo games or, uh, featured in it, all types. And if so, I mean, I'd love to know in the comments who you'd want to be featured that's a Nintendo character. Like, I imagine Samus, actually. I'm thinking about that. She'd have a perfect back. Or even freaking, um, you know, Xenoblade, which I absolutely love. Not Shulk, per se. What if it's like uh, Pyra or Mithra, like, and they have the Aegis or something. That'd be kind of cool, like a bike based off that. Oh, whoa, that was a great hit. And we're getting really good scores. Fantastic. Let's keep it up. Let's at least get third here. Come on. This is the end of the forest, and let's look behind me, we're good. I don't like how it's so zoomed in when you do the 180. I'm not entirely sure why that's the case, but all right, not bad. We managed to uh, get third, which I'll take. Let's see how many stars we get for this. Uh, I hope it's at least four when you do decent. I feel like the points really indicate, but maybe first place is hidden behind. Um, or the last star is hidden behind for getting first place? I don't know. Okay, Cheap Cheap Lagoon as Baby Peach. Nice. So this should be my level, you know. I'm, I'm grown out of this level, but I, I should still be able to take it on. wonder if anyone's going to play it as the character. I don't know if playing as the character really does anything. I think they mentioned that it gives you three items. Like when you get an item block, you can get up to three if you play as the specific character. I'm not entirely sure. But whoa, those Yoshis look really... Bad. They definitely didn't try on that. Look at the Yoshi. It's just a steel model that is like shaking and it looks like something anyone could do. Like it's just uh, the way it 
moves. It's not even like anything's moving. It's actually being stretched up and down. Wait, isn't this the same course that we took on earlier? What? Wait, do they have repeated courses? Just change the character? That's kind of lame. Wait, I'm getting hurt here. I thought I was going to be able to yeah, jump off of it. Never mind, I need to definitely chill with that. But okay, it doesn't matter. Samuel's the only one I had. Another Toad. The Toads. <laughs> the Toads and Bowser so far. The only ones that I would want to say annoy the crap out of Peach. So, let's just see if we can beat Samuel up, bro. Come on. <laughs> it's nice, though, that it is online. So it's like, I know I'm against an actual person. And uh, to me, that just makes it more fun, even though I can't speak to them. I mean, I really want to play with friends. It'd be awesome to have episodes where you guys are featured in it so i'm gonna have to check right after this i guess after the little uh bonus track but okay samuel is beasting no sam okay and i'm not helping by crashing into these oh man okay well i got this i got this no uh, this is the final track and i just realized that so let's at least stay on third i'm not catching up this samuel's a beast I'm not catching up to him, but we can make sure that the other Peach, the imposter, doesn't catch up. So, there we go. And no, whoa, no, 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 come on, come on. What? Never mind. Yeah. Like I said, it's it's Toad or Bowser that would screw up with Peach in it. It was Bowser and Toad for that one. So, oh well. I'll take it. <laughs> third place again. I feel like I was third almost this entire uh, video. Just constantly every single track we do. But okay, so let's see. Now I can't get third here because this is a do jump boost. So I guess we're gonna have to do as much as we can with Yoshi. Let's see how that goes. So you need to do five jump boosts. Okay. Whoa! Oh, you could do it on that? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna do five simple ones and see how it goes. So nice. We can do it here. All right, don't drive off. I guess you're not timed, so it doesn't matter. I could take my time here. All right, there's another one we could do here. Here. Uh-oh, I missed one. Whatever. Technically, I missed two. Now three. Okay, three counting. <laughs> hey, I got the five, guys. That's all that matters. <laughs> all right. Uh, hopefully, eventually, I get used to this game. I'm definitely going to be playing a lot of it off screen. I just wanted to play this as soon as it came out for you guys and see how it goes and oh if i would have gotten 10 okay i can i can get 10 nice let's get 11 let's make it 11 okay i think that'd be good enough we'll see maybe just getting double the amount is decent oh whoa the audio is being weird hopefully it fixes there we go okay I don't know what caused that, but yo, I'm recording off of my iPad in a really ghetto way, like I mentioned, so I'll take it. Come on, don't mess up on me, game. Okay, anyways, this is a sign that I should maybe stop soon, because the audio is sounding really weird. I'm assuming it's from how I'm casting it to my capture card, uh, aka through my Apple TV, which is then projecting through my capture card, which is then being recorded through... Um, fraps but what is this so i can add friends sweet okay okay i'm definitely gonna add friends uh how do i check who added me uh because there we go new friends i literally can only see myself add friend i believe i was added by my fiance okay i already got two yeah from sasa she added me definitely gonna be playing with her maybe i'll have her in a video at least maybe playing with me and already uh Someone else added me. Oh, Super Zelda girl added me. Okay, so let's accept her as well. All right, so definitely add me if you can. I think you just have to add the Nintendo ID. I don't think there's like a friend code or something. Oh, there is. There's my ID. Okay. The, uh, and yeah, you can see through your N Nintendo account. So I can see other people I have added on the Switch. That's probably how they were able to add me easily. So make sure you uh, add me. You know, the number's right there. Pause the video. Do whatever you got to do and i'm definitely going to accept everyone i can accept hopefully it's not like a limited amount or anything like that but let's not end off yet i want to go ahead and head over to uh the shop and summon some stuff so wait, wait how do i summon fire that is and yeah let's do that hopefully i can get pauline i would love to unlock her so gotta hold on to this i was so lucky that i unlocked peach so early on 
uh, like within the second unlock. So I was happy. I didn't really care after that. But again, I actually already have a Koopa Troop, uh, so that sucks. Let's let's go again. Um, I'm willing to risk all the rubies I have. I don't know why they're calling them rubies. Thinking of rupees for some reason, but uh, yo, yo, dry bones, pretty slick. All right, let's use the last bit. I'm definitely not gonna spend actual money on this if you can. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. I, I did make the mistake of doing it on Dragali a couple times and it's definitely not worth it, but yo, I got the Peach Parasol. Okay, so there we go. New thing for Peach, it's gonna be pretty useful. Um, shop maybe? Is there anything new I could buy? Oh, I could buy that. How much cash do I actually have? Wow, you have to spend a lot of money to get this kind of stuff. So that, that's why the game is free. This is how they get you for those who are invested. You, you know, not many people end up buying things in free games, but there's always those whales, as I like to call them, who end up purchasing so much that make it worth it. And then obviously you know, some people might just give in and get something. I don't know. M maybe I don't, I don't want to, to be honest. I'm going to see how much I can get through this game just playing for free. So... Yeah, I guess that about does it. This went a bit longer than I imagined. I thought because you were mini choruses that we'd get through them much quicker. But yeah, let's just actually see what this is. Accept gift. I want to accept this as well. Uh, I can claim within 13 years. Oh, just more rubies. And again, stop giving me Koopa Troopa. And now we got the new chorus of Koopa Troopa. Sweet. So yeah, we're going to be taking on Koopa Troopa Beach in the next one. Again, be sure to leave a like if you want to see more of this. And I'll definitely be playing all the choruses within the game currently. And then as they add more, I'm definitely going to be playing them. Because as you can see, uh, some of them have certain days left. And I believe literally some courses will be unplayable depending on how the tour works. Uh, right now it's all New York and then it will be, I believe, I'm not entirely sure what will be next, either Japan or Paris. That's what we've seen so far. Tokyo and Paris were the two that they've um, shown off along with New York. So yeah, we'll be seeing as time comes, but we still have tons to play right now. So again, let me know what you guys think and uh, please leave a like if you guys enjoyed. But as always, I've been Zelda Master and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.